Welcome back everyone. This is your friend Saurav again from Tech Geeks 10. Our today's topic is the column store index. Before we start and go to the, uh, the demo sessions, we would like to first uh, understand what is the column store index. Um, so basically the column store index is a data structure that is used to store and manage the data in the columnar database. It is also used for storing and querying the large data warehouse fact tables. The query processing is 10 times faster as opposed to the traditional row oriented storage. It also provides a 10x, 10 times data compression over the uncompressed data size. Beginning SQL Server 2016, the column store indexes also permit the operational analytics. So the capability is also offered to run the performant real-time analytics on a traditional workload. So this is basically uh, what exactly the column store index from all the five points what we have understood uh, is that it's very fast probably it's a 10 times more faster as compared to the traditional indexes it offers more compression as opposed to the uh, the other kind of indexes what we use and also it has been used for the uh, operational analytics purposes so let's move to the next topic uh, why should we use the uh, column store index um, so the typical points are uh, that why we need the column store index are it significantly reduce the data warehouse storage cost so why it is so because uh, since we can it can offer a great uh, you know amount of uh, compression you can significantly reduce the storage cost because the size of the indexes would be much lesser as compared to the other indexes which we used to create earlier it offers uh, better performance uh, than the b3 <clears throat> indexes uh, obviously you can understand the structure is um, obviously better the next point is the high compression rates um, improve the query performance by using a smaller in-memory footprint obviously so in the memory it requires a lesser footprint so the performance is undoubtedly undoubtedly better uh, the batch execution advances the query performance typically by two to four x uh, you know two or two to four four times faster through the processing multiple rows together so since we can it can process multiple rows together the performance is also two to four times faster as compared to the regular indexes the next point is the io bottleneck in the system are minimized and eliminated and the memory footprint as we discussed in the previous point is also reduced significantly it also uses a cluster column store index to store the fact tables and large dimensional tables for data warehouse workloads it also improves the query performance by 10 times which we have already discussed the column store index also stores each column in a separate set of disk pages instead of storing multiple pages you know multiple rows per page as data by tradition has been stored so basically what this is trying to say is the column store index actually stores each column so as the name suggests it's a column store that means it's storing each column in a separate set of disk, disk pages separate set of disk pages instead of the traditional multiple rows per page you know as data by you know it used to be like a old traditional format so definitely the performance is way way faster for that because it can retrieve you know it can you know run in parallel from the disk to get the data now the next point is uh, why it is so important so I think we have already discussed in the previous slides why it is important but again to re-emphasize the points uh, remember that uh, once you add a column store index uh, to any table the data cannot be deleted inserted or updated it's actually read only so be careful about that however this incident is not a major concern as it's used for data warehouse application which is more used for the read purposes right we don't prefer to do a lot of uh, alter column commands in the data warehouse we just want to keep it for read purposes and the last point is use partition to avoid rebuilding the indexes now if you are using column store index and the size is huge obviously the tables are huge right so try to use partition so that you can avoid building the index rebuilding the indexes quite a time it saves your time and also the performance 
coming to the next point why to choose row store index over the column store right so the row store index do based on queries that seeks into the data while searching for a value or query on a small set of data so when you have a small range of data a row store index is typically fine okay use row store index with transactional workload as the incline towards table 6 over the table scan so use with transaction so if if in your application it's more like a OLTP which is like transactional then better to use this as this you know improves the table sick as opposed to the table scan so which is far better and um, in comparison to that when we talk about the column store indexes it provides the high performance advantages for analytical loads uh, that scan large amount of data especially on the large fact table so yes i think by now we already understand that it's actually used for data warehouse application which is like a huge humongous you know size of the data and that requires obviously a column store because uh, you know we, we prefer that um, because of the all the all the benefits which we have discussed now moving to the next point through a demo um, so let's bring in my sql management studio there you are so in the left hand side as you can see it's a column store index um, it's actually empty table you can see that there's no procedure or there's no table or there's no view so it's actually empty database and the, the first step so in this demo what we're gonna you know demonstrate is uh, what is the traditional performance improvement over a uh, you know um, using a column store index versus a regular um, you know the the primary key index okay so then that we can easily differentiate the use and basis for that so let's create a table i actually have created a shift method table with some of the columns first is the id then the shift method id ship base ship rate row id and modified uh, date so let's go ahead and create it so it's created you can come to left hand side you can refresh you can see that the table is created with the designated columns and then um, i could have created the indexes here but i just include another another you know uh, statement to showcase that how the um, you know the column index has been created so this is a regular clustered index on the ship method id column so let's go ahead and create it so here it's created you can refresh it and you can see yes the call the index is created now what happened these columns whatever we have created in this table these are all columns i have actually populated the data from the sql uh, the adventure works 2014 sample data purchasing schema and in the table scheme method so from this table i'm actually populating all the record i'm running this as a loop so thousand times it's gonna run and it will push all the data so let's go ahead and run it you can see it's very fast it's completed if you want to see that the data has really gone inside you can just refresh to see that you know i just filtered that with top thousand so if you want you can read all the data now now what we're gonna do as you know that you know for the index performance the best option is to run some select queries and then we can see whether the performance is improved so what we're gonna do we will include the safe statistics io on that parameter and followed by we'll run a group by order by column uh, the query and we'll see that the result has actually come in a very short span in time because the total table records were smaller however if you come to the messages then you can see this statement right so you can see the logical read has been 48 times so 48 times it's actually invoked to get the data so let's actually update it it probably can be varied based on your system performance it's it might take a little longer or smaller time so you know please bear with that uh, your machine's performance um, and then you can just copy that results here so that you can compare at the later on once we create the column store index now as you can see it's a fact table we don't want to change any of the details now what we are doing we are actually creating a column store index with the three columns okay this three ship base ship rate and the ship method id why so let's first create it i create it 
you can see it's actually used as a 96 but that's not our concern now so left hand side let's refresh so you can see that the index has been created now why these three columns because i'm using a group by on ship method id so that's the reason the ship method id ship base i'm using as a sum i'm using it and then ship rate is also been used for averaging purposes okay so let's go ahead and run it so it's actually even the same fast as the previous query but the difference what you can see here is the logical read count has been reduced so you can see it has been reduced from 48 to 0 again it has been reduced from 48 to 0 so let's copy that okay and then just populate it so you can see that the you know the um, the performance is really good uh, what I could do probably uh, let's delete the the column store index and then let's go ahead and go ahead and run this with the actual execution plan okay so it's actually completed and uh, let's see so you can see that the index has been used the cost is 93 percent um, and this is actually the stream is seven percent now we will go ahead and uh, create this one okay so this has been created it's taking a bit of time because i have you know the execution plan option enabled so you can obviously better you disable these features uh, and then you are going to create the same execute the same select query but you can see that uh, it's actually you know it's a little bit reduced i think in the performance side it's hash query it's actually taking 35 32 remaining is in sorting because you are using a sort function here okay and if you want to uh, clean up the objects then you can just drop the index and then you can follow it by the drop table so just go ahead and run and your enter cleanup is completed you can use it as often as you like all right so coming back i think the demo hopefully you understand that the performance is better when you use the columns to index as opposed to the regular index now how the evolution of column store index came so is it something like it came in 2016 so no uh, it's actually first appeared in 2012 but uh, it was uh, but it was on 2016 when did you know began to develop a lot of features and it came with its full potential so these indexes can be up to 10 times faster as we already discussed than the traditional indexes oriented to row based indexes and if you focus on the size that they occupy the data compression can be up to seven times faster than the uncompressed data so obviously that's a good benefit because you can save on your disk cost basically now when to prefer the column store index over row store i think i have already touched base but it's a very important point that what when you have to create anytime can you go ahead and create so the answer is no because it's always been better to create if you have a olap kind of applications your database and if you need it for data warehouse then probably prefer to use the column store and if it is like a oltp then better to go with a row store index based on the the structure the way it is defined um, how it is designed basically so column store index works perfectly fine uh, for the fact tables or any data warehousing uh, kind of applications when you have a large amount of data storing in the data warehouse so these are the references i have used so i'll actually after the demo <clears throat> in the description section i'll mention all the points you can always go back and refer this uh, interesting sites for more details finally thanks for watching the video if you like the video please go ahead and subscribe like and share with your friends and also do comment what section of the uh, the, the the presentation you like the most and if you want to suggest uh, with any future um, uh, the other sessions you would like to visit please do comment and let me know and uh, thanks for watching